Hey guys, welcome to I am Gizmo Geek. Now I have the OnePlus Y series TV here, 43Y1 to be exact. If you are a Y series user, you know that this is the remote that's bundled along with it. And there are keys for power, mute, navigation, volume control, home, Google Assistant, one tap keys for Netflix, Prime, YouTube, and a menu button. But the funny thing is that this menu button works only with the HDMI inputs and won't work with the Android TV interface. Let's say we are watching anything on HDMI 1 or 2. With menu button, we get a lot of options to access pictures, sound setting, inputs, settings, etc. But if you want to access the picture or sound settings while watching on any app on the Android TV, we won't be able to do that with the menu button. The quickest way is only by activating voice assistant and ask for open settings and this is a big limitation. Not just that, there are other keys too on your Android TV remote which aren't of much use. Like for example, you may not be having Netflix subscription. So this button is just wasted. So rather such keys can be used for some other useful functions and there's a simple way to do that. Let me show you how. Now before I go into the details, let me inform you that this method I'll be explaining won't work with OnePlus TV U or Q series and also some of the Android TVs. Now coming to the procedure, first head over to Play Store on your Android TV and search for Button Mapper. Install the app and open it. As soon as you open the app for the first time, it will ask for permission to run the accessibility service for the app. Press OK and head over to Settings, Device Preferences, Accessibility. In the list of services at the bottom, you will find Button Mapper. Now, this is the very reason this method won't work on OnePlus TV U or Q series and also on some of the Android devices. As this setting is locked on these devices and can't be accessed. Till the time the TV manufacturer unlocks this setting, we have to wait. Now, click on Button Mapper, toggle Enable and press OK. You are done with the permission. The type of actions that you can customize for each key are these. Single tap, double tap and long press. But I would suggest to be very careful while mapping keys and make sure to not map the navigation keys because then you would not be able to navigate at all and undoing the settings will be little troublesome. Now let's first map the menu button. Go to add buttons here and then click on add button. Tap the menu button or whichever button you want to configure. It will be now listed here. Just select the listed button and you will get a pop-up to upgrade to Pro. Just select No Thanks. Now toggle Customize and then choose the action you want to add. For menu, I want to change Long Press feature and select System Settings. So now when I long press the menu button, I get the Settings page. For double tap, I can select screenshot. So when I double tap the menu button, it will take a screenshot if the app supports it. Now let's customize the back button. I want to quickly switch to the previously opened app by long pressing the back button. So follow the same procedure to customize. And in action, select last app. Single tap will function normally, but with a long press, now I go back to Play Store, which was opened before this app. Finally, let me remap this Netflix button to another app. For single tap, instead of Netflix, I want to open Disney Plus Hotstar. And with double tap, I would want Amazon Music.
Here, instead of actions, change it to application and select the app you want. These are few customizations I did, but you can explore and choose the ones you like. Let me show you all the new remote functions I customized. Long pressing menu opens setting page. Double tapping menu takes a screenshot of the TV. Netflix button single tap opens Disney Hotstar. Whereas double tap opens Amazon Music. And finally long press to go back to the previous app. So that's about it guys. Do let me know in the comments whichever is your favorite customization. Hope this video was helpful. See you guys in the next video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and follow me on social media. Let me know in the comments if you have any doubts. Bye and take care.